Welcome back to Dawn's Life, welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining today. Today's episode, we are looking at all of your projects for the YouTube world to see. Since I started this channel, I've had an overwhelming amount of positive support and feedback, specifically how my projects may have inspired others to modify their vehicle. So a few weeks ago, I asked the audience to share with me their Don's Life inspired mods or just their mods in general. If you haven't checked out that video, I'll link it here. Also in the video description, you probably wanna check that out first. Definitely check out the comments section. You'll see the responses in there because I did ask people to also share with me their favorite Dawn's Life mod. And maybe there's something there you didn't know I did a video for. Let's go. So this is how this is gonna work. You've sent me pictures, videos, links, showing off your projects. So I'm gonna do my best to share them on the screen and narrate where I need to. The first one's from DGB, also known as David Berger. He's got a 2019 AT4 that he just purchased this past March, 2023. First, he wants to thank me for all the money that's gone missing in his wallet since he started watching my channel. I hear that's a big problem out there. Uh, he's since upgraded to Bilstein 5100 rear shocks. He's now got the front adjustable Bilsteins. They arrived today. He was researching high and low on the biggest tire that he could put in with no rubber scrub. He was led to believe a 285-65-20 would do it. That's not true, as he found out. So there will be some rubbing. He was gonna do a 1.75 front lift, but opted for the struts for now. He's been working a ton on this. As you can see, he's contributed some pictures. Based on these pictures, it looks like he's done the six gang ox beam switch. Looks like he's changed out the light bulbs for the license plate. He's done the quad exhaust pipes, maybe a Borla S type, I can't quite tell from the picture. We've got the larger tires. We've got the lights and the multi-pro tailgate. Uh, also PS, when he was installing some bright source Raptor lights, he hit a deer. Now he's working on reinstalling them. He wants me to take care, enjoy the vet. His buddy Andrew just picked up a vet as well. He's doing a bunch of stuff to it. Headers, a muffler delete, X-pipe, a new cam, and a tune. Uh, he shared my channel with him, so he's fired up. Yeah, I, CA content's gonna continue to grow, and the AT4 content isn't going anywhere. So win-win. Uh, so yeah, thanks again, David. Love your truck, uh, looking good. It's nice when we can make them our own. Oh, we got another Canadian here. We got a submission from David G. Got a few mods for his Silverado LTZ. He's got a short YouTube video with a bit of a walk around. You'll see he's got some 20 inch fuel assault wheels, recon LED smoked taillights, and a nice step bar. Like I said, he's Canadian. He's from the Kelowna area. Um, that's an area that I grew up in, lived in BC for a quarter of my life. Great place to be. And uh, yeah, that's David G's submission. So thanks, David. Appreciate it. Nice truck. All right, moving on to Chad. This one's titled, My Project I Love. Chad sent us a bunch of pictures and you'll notice right away, it's not a GMC Sierra or a Chevy Silverado. This one is his Ram, uh, which I think is great. He says he's worked really hard on this truck. He's painted the entire underside of the truck, including the frame and cab and the box to prevent rust. He's added a four inch lift, 35 inch tires with Pro Comp rims. He's added a bed cover, new front grill. He's also added a front receiver hitch for a snowplow and a carbon stainless exhaust system and a Diablo programmer. Looks like Chad has an ABS bug deflector and some riveted fender flares on his Ram. He loves the truck and he's very proud of it, as he should be. That's what I love about this. It's a community. Uh, so good job, Chad, on the truck. That's awesome. And uh, he's thanking Don's life for the inspiration. So of course, that's what I'm here for. And uh, glad to see you're uh, inspired to make your truck your own. That's awesome. Thanks, Chad. As I go through these, if you are interested in looking at the YouTube video links that people have shared with me, I will put those in the video description with the name of the person that it belongs to. So if you like one of the segments in this video, you can just find their name and you can click on their little YouTube video or anything else they might have going on there. Okay, we have a couple pictures from Tony Garrett. Hey Don, love your channel. I always check your page when I'm thinking about doing a mod. It's a great place to start. You helped me a lot with my 2021 GMC Sierra 1500. Keep doing your thing. Now let's see what we can see in this picture. So we have a bunch of vinyl that he's done or painting, not sure, around the fog lights, around the uh, engine displacement badge. We got the mirror caps and then he's got this add-on um, vent on top of the hood. I don't know if that's functional. I, I think it's there for looks, but a uh, nice contrast. Uh, I like that. He's got the uh, sport bar on the back. He's got obviously the big push bar on the front. He's got fender flares. He's got aftermarket wheels. Uh, he's got, oh, he's got his uh, GMC badge as well. Custom painted to match the uh, trim. Yeah, it looks good. I, I love that it, you know, it stands out. I bet a lot of people look at it. Yeah, I'm digging it. Nice job, Tony, thank you. 
All right, the next one is from Jeffrey Connor. He has a YouTube channel. This is for his 2021 Black Widow edition. And uh, he's got some custom subs that he's put in and he has a full how-to video from start to finish on how he built his sub box, what its fitment's like. He's got four kicker subs. He was able to integrate it with his stock system, which is uh, convenient. Uh, and he did hook up an audio control LC2i, which is a nice device to have because you can hook it up to a factory system, pull the bass from the frequencies that you need to amplify and just play those through the amp that you add on. Uh, so great setup. The whole process is here. I'll play some of the highlights of the video, but I'll also link it in the video description below. While well, this whole video towards the end, you're going to get some measurements if this is something that you want to tackle yourself. I'm not a carpenter. This is only the second time I've ever built a box like this. You're going to see imperfections. I'm going to be as transparent as possible to show you all my lines, show you all my cuts. And I bet there's people out there can do so much better than this if you take a little bit more time. I took my time, but I only had a jigsaw to cut the entire thing. But I don't think this one came out that bad. The black you see on the inside is just a bed liner that you can buy. I'll show you later on in the video where that is. The red lights you're seeing here are from my under front seat because the Black Widow Edition comes with under dash red lights. What you're seeing here is my 1800 watt kicker amp, my LC2i Pro. The LC2i Pro comes with its own base knob, so I don't need one for the kicker amp itself because it's pretty well adjusted and I just adjust the LC2i knob when I go. If you look at this view here, you can see that it sits pretty flush with the, the, uh, the lip at the front of the seat. I hope this video helps somebody figure out how to do this project. And if you think that you can't do this project, well, I thought the same thing. All right. Thanks, Jeff, for that video. That's great. Uh, especially if anyone out there wants to add a system, they can get some inspiration from this one. Next up is Michael. He says, great channel. I like seeing all the things you can do with GMC trucks. I have a 2020 GMC Sierra 1500 AT4 6.2. I love the truck. Here's all the ads so far. As you can see, it's a beautiful black AT4. He's done a lot to it. He's got a zone six inch lift kit, fuel assault 20 inch by 12 and a half wheels, Mickey Thompson Baja tires, a muffler delete, trifold soft bed cover, amp research, XL side steps, eight, C4 off-road RGBW rock lights. The W means they do proper white, which is nice, better than mine. The uh, Opt 7 interior ambient lighting, Bushwhacker fender flares, and WeatherTech side window deflectors. He also has a YouTube channel called Mikey's Motor World. I'll leave a link to it in the video description below, but definitely check it out if you wanna see more of Mikey's world and maybe there's more of this truck here that you can check out. Next up, we have Tyler Jacobson. He says he came here originally for the Hyperdip review on emblems for his 2014 Silverado, and he's been hooked ever since. He's talked to me a few times on Instagram. He really enjoys that I walk people through and also help them build just enough confidence to jump in. He says I've been a huge influence on his builds. Tyler's also got some pics of a newer Silverado Silverado HD, looking pretty good. Got the fender flares on it, tinted out, aftermarket wheels, looks pretty sharp, quite the transformation. And his dad finally got his new C8 around the same time I got mine. We have a beautiful 70th anniversary edition C8 there. And now they're both watching my videos. Thank you so much and enjoy the pictures. Have a great day. Thanks a lot, Tyler, I appreciate that. And I hope your dad loves his new C8. Now we got Deacon Summerford. Don, I appreciate your channel. I'm a GM guy as well. And I have the same vehicles on my 2022 Silverado 2500. I put my compressor under the hood for my airbags. It's a much better install to keep it clean. I was looking for an alternative location to mount it when I stumbled across your channel. And here are some photos of my install. Thank you and keep up the great work. That's awesome. Thanks Deacon. You know, that's still one of my favorite installs and the compressor has been functioning beautifully in that location. Okay, our next one is a video for from Steve Four. Hi Don, a quick video to show your influence and some of my mods on my 2023 Silverado Trail Boss. Got the aux beam switch panel, Plasti Dip lettering, recon smoked tail lights. He tried tinting them, but he just couldn't get them to his satisfaction. I know the pain on that one. They're tough tail lights on the Sierra and the Silverado. He's got the Putco Virtual Blades. He did get those tinted, as did I, did a video on that. He tried a couple wrap ideas, but he just doesn't feel he has the talent. Just keep practicing, man, you'll get there. Not in this video is the bed cover, Putco mole panels in the truck bed and ambient lighting in the cab. Love the channel, best regards, Steve. I've also been thinking of doing the panels from Putco in the bed. I don't know if they're mole or moly panels, sorry if I'm mispronouncing it. 
Uh, but either way, that's something I still might do. So heads up audience, uh, might show you some of that uh, in the future here. But uh, thanks Steve and appreciate the submission. Now we have some before and afters from Justin Linderman. He's got a 2022 GMC Sierra SLT, had it for a little over a year, got some big plans for it. He put a three and a half inch lift on it, some new wheels, tires, running boards, and a bed cover. He hit a deer so insurance paid for the grill and he plans on doing an aftermarket bumper with a winch. I'm also thinking about doing the same upgrade when it comes to an aftermarket bumper and a winch. Okay, the next one hits close to home. His name is Riley Kinch. He actually works at the GM dealership where I bought my AT4. Hey Don, I've chatted with you a few times here at Wheaton GM. Big fan of the channel. He'd love the opportunity to showcase his truck. So that's exactly what we're gonna do for you. We have a list of mods that he's done to his 2017 GMC Canyon, and he's got many more planned. Some of the most noteworthy ones are an Air Dam Delete, a Go Rhino Bull Bar, Colorado ZR2 Rock Sliders, LED Headlight Swap, fog light upgrade, interior light swap. At one point, Riley did ask me for some advice for wrapping his interior trim. Uh, he tried some 3M 1080, I believe, but my recommendation would be maybe 3M 2080 or Avery. Avery's gotta be the easiest to work with. Avery series SW900. Pick your color, easy to apply. Thanks Riley, and we'll be talking to you in the future, I'm sure. All right, now we have DC Garlino. That's my best French accent that I can provide. Hello, Don, you've helped me make my truck mine. Love the channel and all the mods you do. Very informative and helpful. And the fact that you are in Toontown, because I'm in Saskatoon, it's a nickname. It's great to see a fellow Canadian also from Saskatchewan. So that's great. He's got a 2023 Silverado 2500 with the 6.6 Duramax. So he's got a bunch of Banks power items, Ram Air Intake, Pedal Monster, Derringer Inline Tuner, the i-dash double stealth pod mounts. He's got monster exhaust, five inches, and his Dawn's Life Inspire mods are lengthy. We've got the underhood LED light, cargo LED lights, the Putco 60 inch blade LED, LED reverse license plate lights, tailgate seal, the one car AI box, boost auto products. He's got the cell phone wireless charger in the console, GM tow mirrors with signal on the glass kit, heated lower glass on those, the GM all light mods, the GM all fog light mods, the dual function cargo reverse light mod. Man, I've done a lot of mods. Other mods that he has are the Canadian Polar Pad oil pan heater, Furion seven way adapter with power switch for RV, Bullring truck bedside wall anchors, Access original roll up tonneau cover, Access Rockstar full width toe flap. Man, he's done a lot to his truck. He's uh, rivaling what I've done to mine, so. Great job, thanks for sending that in. All right, got two left. Next one's from Adam Young. He's attached some pictures of his 2020 Sierra 1500 Elevation. He bought it back in January of this year. Found the Don's Life channel pretty quickly and it inspired him to do a bunch of DIY upgrades. Currently, he's lowered the rear end two inches, wrapped the top half in a gloss black, tinted the side of his headlights, which I've done as well. Also, I've wrapped the top in gloss black. He's added a set of GMC Snowflake Replica 24 inch rims, a set of 285 40 24 tires. Some future project plans that he has are the illuminated side badges, the front grille illuminated GMC logo, and eventually upgrading the tonneau cover to be retracted. Thank you for all your help and ideas on how to modify the Sierra platform. Your truck is beautiful and I look forward to your future work on it. Super nice Adam, thanks for that. And our last submission to make the cut for this video and certainly not least is Jeff Bromba. He has a YouTube video, so I'll link that as well in the description, but I'll let that video play out because he narrates it for me so I don't have to do all the talking. So I'll let that play and then we'll come back and wrap this up. Hey Don, Jeff here. I thought I'd take you through a few of the modifications that I've made on my AT4. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is I've changed out my front bumper to the Addictive Desert Design uh, bumper with the uh, Baja Designs Onyx 6 uh, light bar. A couple of little Amber Squadron Pros behind the mesh. Did some Squadron Pros with the ditch lights and the Putco brackets that uh, were inspired by you. Those have worked great. Uh, tires and wheels. I've got Method NV305s, Mickey Thompson Baja Bosses. I ordered the leveling kit from Cognito Motorsports, which was their upper control arms with uh, two and a half inch coilovers, uh, fully adjustable. These things uh, make for an amazing ride. I did the Borla S-Type Catback Exhaust. Let's see if we can see it down here. Yep, 
There's the adjustable rear shock. Opted for the uh, carbon fiber tips. Not sure if they're worth the money, but they sure look cool. Uh, Retrax Pro bed cover, Yakima bars, uh, Yakima Skinny Warrior. I also have a Thule box that'll go on the back when I take my trips to northern Minnesota. Uh, we can look at a couple things underneath the hood. I did the Oxbeam 800 controller for my lights inspired by you. Oh yeah, the SB cold air intake. Got my, co my catch can, also inspired by you. There's the ox beam. Definitely a number of modifications that uh, were Don approved for sure. So appreciate your effort and everything you do. Oh, I also did the little the little light uh, deal underneath the uh, hood. And uh, one of the tricks that I use is I use like a dielectric grease to keep that lubricated because it will rust in a heartbeat. So anyway, that's all I got. Appreciate you. Jeff, thank you so much for that submission. I think this has made for a pretty cool video because this is you guys, the Dawn's Life audience, putting together a summary of the things that you've done that you get enjoyment from, whether it's DIY or you had somebody do it. I think it's inconsequential. Just the fact that you're making your rides your own is uh, cool enough for me. I think this is a good place to end it. I've crammed enough submissions into one video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you want me to explore doing more content like this where I'm sitting down in my home office, maybe going through suggestions that you have or just putting together, well, really anything that you'd uh, like me to try out, I'm up for it if there's enough interest. So leave your comments uh, down below and I'll definitely have a read. I really, really uh, do appreciate everyone that submitted something something, anyone that left comments on that previous video, they're of tremendous value to me. I really want to make this channel grow because it's a passion of mine and I enjoy doing it. So hopefully that translates into what you see through the camera. I don't put on a show. I'm just a guy who works on his vehicles and shares it with you guys. So I'm glad that we have this community. Again, thanks for all the submissions. But if you like today's video, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing. We'll talk to you next time.